M is Natasha Manahan. Today we're gonna cook some homemade stuffed tomatoes. So what we did, we opened the tomato like that and we empty it. To cut the tomato, we need to cut the tomato that way to put away the little top. And then we took something like that, like a, a little spoon, round one. And you take something on the side and you start to empty the tomatoes, just like that. And when you're done with that, what do you have here? You're gonna put over here with some onion, a little bit of salt, pepper and some herbs. So let's finish to open this one. I'm gonna show you, it's very simple actually. <laughs> it's always important to wash your hands because there is a lot of germs, especially on your cell phone. So if you have to reply to a call when you are cooking, don't forget to wash your hands. That's where it's most germs. All right, so let's continue the recipes. So we finished to empty the tomatoes. So as you can see, I, I put like six big nice tomato for like uh, three people. So each people can have two tomatoes. There we go, all empty, nice and clean. To put the rest of the sauce uh, into that uh, pan. And it's gonna cook all together, so we're gonna put again a little bit. There we go, that's fine. And here, there is like the preparation. We're gonna stuff the tomatoes with it. So inside there is some beef, some bacon, and some parsley. And do not forget two eggs. You can put the yellow and the white eggs, that's fine. So you have to mix it very well together. And when it's stuffed together, you put some salt and some pepper again. And I add a little bit of paprika. Paprika is very delicious. So then, uh, do not hesitate. You can take your hand or you can do with a spoon. Personally, I like to do with a spoon. I think it's more clean. But you do whatever you want. That's fine. Either way, it's okay. Then you start to stuff the tomato. Like that. There we go. Well, you can put a little bit extra or not, it's up to you. Uh, actually, you have to stuff six of them. Hello, kitty. I think the kitty like the meat. <laughs> it's very cute. So there is one. So we're gonna put the little top on it, just like that. Then you're gonna take the second one, you open it. It's empty. You put the mix with the beef and the bacon and the herbs together just like that nice and clean and you put the little top on it again and you do the same things for all of them well if you have too much meat and you still have some do not hesitate you can incorporate with the sauce over there and everything is gonna cook at the same time Put a little bit again, some cooking here, and wait a few minutes. Okay. In the same time, you preheat the, the oven 180 degrees. It's gonna go for 45 minutes. After that, we have the speciality. It's like a, a fresh noodle. So you put four eggs for 400 grams of flour. And then you mix right like that. The pass should be something like that. And then what we have, you get ready like a, a big, large pan with hot water, and you put a little bit of salt inside. That's very simple. And then when it's very hot. There is a special things to do the Spätzle. So the Spätzle, the speciality from Germany, exactly from the Baden-Württemberg. So it's very simple, you know. There is a little hole like that. You can also do with the old pan. It's very simple 
apply machine. So here we go. And we get it from mom to daughter for generation or grandmother to generation. So when the water is hot enough, just put the things like that. And you're just gonna wait a few more minutes. And then we're gonna put the past right here inside the bowl of hot water. Okay, your sauce that you're getting ready from a few minutes ago, you're gonna just incorporate into the dish and that's perfectly fine because everything's gonna cook together and the flavor is gonna be even better. It's already hot, but that's fine. It's gonna mix perfectly with the rest of the dish. Make sure you're gonna put some a little bit everywhere. That contains the onion actually. But the onions are well done and well cooked. Then you put the tomatoes inside the oven and you can wait for 45 minutes. Then we're gonna do the pasta. So here we go. The water is very hot. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna put a bit pasta like that, not too much. I'm gonna turn, just gonna cut it. There we go. And what you get, you get the spitzli who's cooking inside. Then you wait a few seconds and you do it again. One more time. There we go. Not all, stop it, and you continue to turn, just like that, same things. So as you can see, inside, you really see the spätzle getting ready. Do it again with the last portion. One more, you see the pasta, there we go. Slowly, 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 stop it, turn, and the same things. Very easy. Very, very simple. After that, the pasta, the spitzli, has to cook for about 3-4 minutes. When you're done, when the cooking is ready, you wait like 2 minutes. Then, you put it, the spitzli, outside, and you plunge into a bucket of cold water. It's better if you can put some ice, but here in France we're not crazy too much about ice. But yeah. So that's the last portion of spätzle. Of course, you do as much as you want, depending on many people are coming to have dinner with you. We have a portion for four people, but you do as much as possible. So that's how it looks like when it's almost ready. You see? Then you put something to get them out. There we go. Look at that. How beautiful is it? And you reserve into the cold water again. I would say like this is probably like 400 grams, but you know, you can do one kilogram. Usually I used to do with my family like one kilogram. And it's better because you can have it for a few days, you know, and rehearse it just as you want. It's very easy, it's very nice to do, it's very simple, and of course, it's delicious.